but more to Deb's notion of you know that we contribute something, maybe more like half of um, that 37 weeks. Uh, it would look at something like somewhere between 20 and 22,000. So that, I mean, those are just some numbers to kind of mull around in your head um, in terms of thinking about um, contracted services and saying, okay, here's, here's a you know, can help uh, help offset some of the costs for um, for that. And, and, and again, that none of that is in, in any kind of stone. It's just my uh, ruminations based on having a total number for what it would cost salary-wise for, for those patrolmen, uh, patrolmen and, and then you know, doing some calculations based on the 37 weeks. Okay. Do other people have other questions? I'd just like to see if we can massage things a little bit and see if we can um, participate as a show of people as they've shown with us. I mean, I, I think that Todd, as chief, has got to be reasonable about they deploy it when it helps. It's a very difficult thing because as Lois and Ethelene will tell you, the PD used to be able to volunteer, you know, and then contracts got stronger and unions got stronger and we couldn't volunteer anymore and it, it became hard. And, and I know many of them are willing, but they can't. It happens in more areas than people need to know. And you were talking before about the buildings and grounds and you have the meeting with Pete. The fee for the consultant that Pete uses comes out of the Department of Energy. And it's for all fields, it's school fields, and the seed and the fertilizer and everything, it's under our budget now, and you never see that. So it happens in more areas than you even know. So, yes, it's all tax dollars, but it's in little pots here and there and everywhere. So well, it just happens. We're not paying anything. talking about budgets going down, I mean, you're going to talk about cutting. It's like, what are we going to be cutting? Are we going to be cutting education or are we going to be cutting an SOR? You know, as a person kind of trying to make those decisions, our decision is about education. I, I you know, what's going to be the first to go? That's my concern. It's not that I wouldn't love to help them. It's just that they have to fiscally look at their budget as we do ours. Um, and I think if we're going to look to them to put it in, Kim, my concern is that I'd like to show the, the good faith participation if we can, because I think the residual benefit of having does impact our students in a positive way. I mean, we can't get around all this bullying and all of the things that are going on, and there's a crisis there. And the biggest thing I think that we've heard from the SROs is the number of students that do approach them. Mm -hmm. They just see them as a different entity than them. And that's where I'm, that's where no, I'm I got, I, no, no, I totally I, understand I, I, that. I'm coming from a different, I'm no, going no, to the bottom line of the dollar. No, that's I, what it's coming from. I, know, that's <coughs> nothing, you know, I think, if I think anything, our budget just keeps raising and raising and raising and we're taking on responsibilities that and we default on other people's budgets. I'm sorry. No, I know. But I think, and 
they may be looking at it the same way when it comes to cutting. What will they cut? And then we're left without. We're all left. Yeah. Out. Which brings up another topic before we leave this to death. I would still, if you would look and see what we're doing. Um, we were going to get together at Rantler stuff, um, and I still think that's particularly important for board members to know. You know, how much of our monies come from grants, how do we use them, um, because we've taken some heat of what we do. There is an income, a revenue side of what comes back to the town from the point of bed, and the educational cost share grant is on the agenda for the legislature this year. It is indeed. Again. So, so we'll have... Um, this point, um, even you know, going, getting ready for that one thing is um, making sure that we have, that as a group, we have some indication as to here's where we stand right now. And it is, I, I, I would argue that, that given the information that I have shared with you today, that this um, 590,000 or 1.6, 1.9, um, is Notwithstanding our conversation about the SRO, um, you know, it is subject to go down. It, it should not go beyond this. It should move down rather than go up. Um, hopefully, until now on the 10th. But even, you know, certainly by the time I do my formal presentation to the whole board, I think it's a month. Um, and, and just to clarify, um, you've got the different discs and stuff for the presentations for people who miss them that we could grab tonight. Yes. So if anybody didn't get them, okay. Jeff, what was it by the state that you could not go under from last year's budget? What's the number? What's the percentage? It's actually the... Uh, the final? The, the final from... 11, 12. Yeah. 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 The, was there a number? Yeah. Can't go below last year's budget. Like blue. So I, again, I think what we're going to be looking for, particularly as we come into the, the, temp, the January 10th meeting, is um, some uh, guidance, uh, feedback, um, input, whatever you'd like to call it, relative to where we stand at this point and um, the kind of commitments um, that you're willing to make relative to programmatic um, uh, advances that we're trying to make um, and how that um, how that impacts our, our overall uh, percentage increase and dollar increase um, going forward and recognizing what it, you know, what it takes to, to put this together uh, at this point, what the impacts are, um, and you know, where, where do we have to One other question, just to clarify what I think the correct answer. The only additional personnel that you're adding, or you're proposing adding, is the um, 0.6 Chinese position. That is your foreign language position. It's the only new position that you're proposing. Okay. Any other questions? Anybody? Okay. Thank you. Again, between now and the 10th, um, if you have any questions about any of this material or any of the um, presentations as you, you know, go back through them, um, anything with regard to the enrollments um, or class sizes as we should you know, get that back to you, Lois. Well.